Hey y'all, it is me, Stop, Drop, and Roll On. I'm doing two videos in one day. Can you believe it? And so, um, what I'm doing is, I have, I still subscribe to the actual newspaper. Um, the idea of electronic newspapers and stuff does not appeal to me. Um, I think everybody has an e-reader or capabilities of reading stuff online and stuff. And that's all fine and good. I mean, I'm just like... One of these people that's caught in between two time frames and I just kind of pick and choose what stuff that I want to give up and what stuff that I want to keep. And uh, I was talking to this lady the other day. Um, I can't remember what I was doing, but I was I was with Mama somewhere and I was doing something. And um, this lady was saying something, and I said, yeah, because my uh, grandniece had said something. And I was like, honey, you don't even understand. I said, this is the beauty of being the age that I am now. I'm old enough to remember when computers were not at all. And I'm old enough to remember when, when computers hit. I'm old enough to know how to work one and the trappings for the most part, not everything. And some of the stuff I don't know, it's just because I've not availed myself to learn it. You know, it's like not high on the priority list. I get to it when I get to it, if I decide to get to it. And then I'm old enough and, you know, and young enough at the same time to be able to feel like I can still learn and want to learn, you know. And so it's like the best of both worlds. Um, to me, this is how I look at it and how I choose to feel about it. And so, um, it allows me to pick and choose the stuff that I want to spend time on. And, um, we were standing there and, you know, I just got to thinking about something because me, we had a... We had a book club. And it was several of us in it, and then it kind of, people start getting busy, having grandbabies, and this, that, that, and all, and all this stuff. And so, our membership dwindled down, and then, uh, Mom and I were talking about this last night, and I'm like, I don't know when we're going to start that back up again, but it was enjoyable. Um, because we just kind of had a list of books that we were going through, and, you know, somebody might find something and mention something, and we would read it, and then we'd pick a Saturday, and we would discuss it. Um, and things of that nature, just those type of things that, you know, make, um, add some kind of type of interest to your life. And I didn't, for the most part, I didn't put that many books on my nook. Um, I have an old nook. My nook is like first generation nook. So it don't have color on it. It don't do animation and all that. It's just strictly words. And, um, of course, the princess had a top of the line with everything on it, probably some electronic elf changing the pages for her and all of this stuff. And so I have her nook. Um, if I showed y'all the cover of her nook, you would know just how much of a, of a, how attached she was to it because she was a reader. And so, um, I was telling Mama, I said, you know, I, I have um, Sissy's Nook, and so if you want it, you know, I'll bring it back to you. But I just didn't want to leave it where it was, knowing that it wasn't going to be used. And um, I, in my gut, know that she would not mind me at least holding it for now. I have no intentions of using it. I am, Like I said, I have my own. I don't need to. But we used to have this discussion as well about holding books like literally holding a book <clears throat> or a newspaper and uh then the e-reader and that type of stuff but today i'm almost down to looking through the last of my newspapers i have two more newspapers to look at yesterday's paper and today's paper so, while I'm looking through today's paper, I'm on the tail end of it. And I have a sack right here that I'm just looking at the highlights and stuff. And putting putting um, the paper in the thing to take to the recycle situation. Anywho, I come across this article. Which, you know, I don't... Obviously, it's not something that they felt 
should have gone on the front page. Although, to be totally honest, it is something that needed to go on the front page. Um, this is this is put back here. It's embedded between immigration milestones and, and congressional stuff and right on the side of the obituaries. And it's just a little small. I mean, it's not really tiny, but it's a small, unassuming um, article. Not really big at all. And you don't know how big it is when I read it to you in its entirety. And you be like, that's all it is and that's all they had to say. But yeah, there's the article right there. And uh, it's from the uh, AP, the Associated Press. So it's not like it's out of, um, you know, Kango Kids uh, uh, newsreel. This is for real. Um, I, well, I should say it's from what used to be called a trusted source. I'll put it like that. What's for dinner? Before long, it may well be genetically modified salmon. The first such altered animal cleared for human consumption in the United States. Critics call it Frankenfish, but the Food and Drug Administration granted its approval on Thursday, day before yesterday, saying the faster-growing salmon is safe to eat. It could be available in a couple of years. There are no biologically relevant differences in the nutritional profiles of <coughs> excuse me, y'all, of Aqua Advantage Salmon. That's the name of the salmon. Put that back here and keep it planted. So, you know. Yeah, compared to that of other farm-raised Atlantic salmon, the agency said. The Obama administration has stalled in approving the salmon for more than five years amid consumer concerns about genetic, genetically modified foods. See, my issue with this is you saying that the current administration has stalled this um, from being introduced to the public for five years. Okay, if you're rallying to have something introduced to the public and it's been being styled for five years, that tells me that the product, and the fact that you can give me a description of it, just hold on, this is my own personal opinion. That tells me that in a five-year period, you've had time to use money, or monies, I should say, to further improve or to um, lobby and make this stuff, you know, come into fruition, which means that when you start lobbying for stuff, it's ready to go unless you're asking for funding, okay? So why, if it's been being styled for five years and now you telling me in two years it'll be on the market, not buying it, it's ready now. And um, it says that... Um, the fish grows twice as fast as normal salmon, so it reaches market size more quickly. It's all about the money. It doesn't have anything to do with our health or our safety or the fact that there will be childbearing people, men and women, because I just feel like that, you know, everything that occurs just because women are the ones that, you know, physically are the child bearers. I just don't have any doubt at all that even though men don't carry, um, you know, um, carry babies, that there isn't some type of thing that has the potential to alter or have an issue even coming from the um, the XY side of life, okay? Because the girls are the XX side, okay? So, I'm going to go on and read. It says that... Um, Aqua Advantage Salmon is engineered by the, by a, the Massachusetts-based company, Aqua Bounty. So remember, Aqua Salmon, Aqua Bounty, Aqua Advantage Salmon, and Aqua Bounty is the company. Massachusetts-based. Um, it said the fish could be on grocery store shelves in about two years, which is how long it takes the salmon to grow. Once the salmon reach stores, consumers may not know they are eating them because there are no material differences between an engineered and a normal salmon. The FDA says that the law does not require the fish to be labeled as engineered. Hmm. Aqua Bounty says that genetically modified salmon have the same flavor, the same texture, the same color, and the same odor as conventional fish. So that's your selling point, you know. Um, so look like a duck, quack like a duck, walk like a duck, don't necessarily mean it's a duck because they just telling you what they just telling you. 
some retailers already have weighed in on the fish controversy. They include Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Target, and Kroger, which have all said they are not planning on selling Aqua Advantage salmon. The buzzword and the catchword there is planning. Um, plans change all the time. And when anytime anybody, or I would say a company whose main uh, reason is for profit, sees that there's profit to be made, um, they don't have a problem with like sliding stuff in, okay? Um, that's my own take. I'm not putting saying anything. This is just my own opinion. But you telling me in two years, yeah, it, like I said, who will know if it's two years or not? Because the only thing that you really have at this point in time to really base anything on is the fact that we kind of know the name of it. But people, companies change names. Uh, p companies outsource stuff to different uh, other companies. It's kind of like you go in the store and you might go into uh, Harris Teeters and um, they brand uh, is Safeway. Or you you have other well-known brands that are packaged cheaper, same product, just in a different box or a, a diff you know, a, a different name. So people outsource stuff. So we just saying this is the jump off point, Aqua uh aqua what is it aqua advantage salmon and aqua advantage no aqua bounty but it doesn't mean that this fish won't end up somewhere else being marketed under somebody else's name and especially if there's money to be had so things i mean i have had a lot of thoughts about a lot of stuff and um this just kind of hit a nerve with me because you just you just get to the point where you realize that it's just about I mean it's not I didn't just get to this point but I guess I should say that things just kind of start showing up in a way where you just realize that it's just about your money it's about money it doesn't have anything to do with me per se or you know the health of the individual because they'll We'll have the FDA approve something, and then in five minutes, after people start getting ailments and things, then you'll come up with a pill or an injection or an infusion to help resolve this one thing, even though it's going to have a whole lot of other, you know, uh, side effects to go along with it. Y'all, I just wanted to share this article. Look it up. You know, look it up and see what you think. If you got something to say, put it down below. I'll talk to y'all later. Toodles.